Hey guys, so today I have a Nordstrom try on haul for you. I'm so excited to get these products on my face. And I do just wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Nordstrom. So a huge thank you to Nordstrom for wanting to work with me again. And I purchased a whole bunch of stuff that I was really dying to try out. So let me just show you quickly. I have the Clay de Peau Radiant Cream to Powder Foundation. This is not a new product, but ever since I tried the Radiant Matte Foundation from Clay de Peau and fell in love with it, I was kind of eyeing this product and really wanted to give that a shot. So we have that and I have it in the shade 020. I also have a Clay de Peau Cream Blush. And then I have two products from their limited edition um, holiday 2020 collection. I have their uh, eyeshadow quad and also one of their lip glorifiers, which um, I don't have any experience with this product, but I believe it's like a tinted balm. So we're gonna be playing with that. And then from Guerlain, I am trying their loose powder. This is another product I have just been dying to try. It's a translucent loose powder and I have it in two clair. And if I understand correctly, this has that Guerlain violet scent that I really, really enjoy. So I can't wait to use that. Uh, we're also gonna be trying the Sicily Eye Concealer with Botanical Extracts. The Sicily Concealer that I use is more of like a brightening highlighting pen. This is like their full-on concealer. So I'm really, really anxious to try this as well. And then I thought I would try the Dior Show Iconic Cover Curl. I believe this is their newest mascara. And in my comments, you guys are always talking about how much you love Dior mascaras. And it's always like a different kind, but the brand name Dior keeps coming up. So I really wanted to try one from them. And I have it in the shade 90, which is Noir Black. So I think I have pretty much a full face. Like I don't have bronzer and highlight. Of course we can fill in with something that I have in my very large collection. So let's go ahead and start with the Radiant Cream to Powder Foundation from Clay de Peau. And I'm not sure, but I think maybe it's kind of like a balm. So we have the actual compact here and then we have the actual product. So it's like an assembly required situation. So let's see, I think just, you just snap it in. I feel like I'm gonna break it. <laughs> Ah, okay, this is a cover. <laughs> and here's the product. Wow, I'm really, I'm really dense. Okay, we're gonna push this in and it just clicks right down. Okay, that was easy. Hold on, I think I'm missing, whoops. Ah, all right. So you have to take the cover off and then put the product in and then press down and then the compact has the actual cover and it also comes with a little puff. All right, so there is the compact all assembled. That took me way too long. Like the product says, this is a cream to powder foundation. So it looks like a cream foundation in the pan, almost like a balm. And let me see if there are any instructions on how to apply it because I don't, I don't use a lot of like pan cream type foundations. So I don't know if a sponge or a brush or your fingers are the best. There's also SPF 24 in here, just FYI. This is a state-of-the-art foundation that creates a weightless, beautiful second skin finish. This hybrid formulation that glides over skin and instantly transforms from a luxurious cream into a subtle, lightweight powder for unparalleled adherence. Maintains a refined finish throughout the day while revealing a look of natural radiance. Okay, it says using a dry sponge, sweep one third of the sponge, oh, I guess we're talking about this one. Sweep one third of the sponge surface lightly across the foundation, then apply foundation to one side of the face, gently gliding the sponge from the center of the face outward, apply in the same manner to the other side of the face. That Those are very specific instructions, wow. Okay, I'm gonna use my makeup sponge just because I think they're just easier to hold than this little guy. I know, I think you can do like a, a bend it in half kind of situation, um, but I just, I don't know. I, I just like this, I think it's easier to hold. So I'm gonna dip this sponge in, and I know it looks dirty, but it's actually, it's as clean as I can get it. So I'm gonna dip it in, and like they said, swipe from center of face outward. There is a slight fragrance, it's that Clay de Peau, like floral rose scent. So far, I feel like the coverage is uh, like fairly light. Let me see, does it say 
Uh, what kind of coverage this has? Ah, okay, so it has sheer to medium coverage with a matte finish, okay. All right, I don't know, I always assume like foundation that comes in like a pan is always going to have like medium full, super full coverage. So this is nice, this is kind of a nice surprise. I like a lighter coverage foundation. So I'm just gonna work on this half of my face so we can do a little comparison. Okay. All right, so I've applied a layer onto the right side of my face. I definitely see that my um, this, the finish to my skin is matter than this side. So it definitely has mattifying properties. And I'm, I'm really surprised at how much I like the coverage. Like I said, I, I just assumed it was gonna have high coverage, but it's really light and it's just really natural looking. I think when this foundation first came out, many of you asked if I was gonna be reviewing it and many of you had gotten it and recommended it to me and I was like, I don't think so. I'm not the biggest fan of matte and it just seems like it's gonna be full coverage. But so many of you were like, no, 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 it's just really beautiful on the skin. I think you'll like it. It's not that matte. I should have listened to you guys because this is really beautiful. I love this kind of like natural skin finish actually that I'm getting. It definitely has like mattified my skin compared to, you know, where we started, but it doesn't look flat or dry or anything. It's really beautiful. All right, just along my jawline here where I have like some hyperpigmentation, I do want to see if this is buildable. So I'm going to add another layer of that down there. And when it comes to Clay de Poe, I feel like I'm right in between their 020 and their 010. Sometimes I feel like their 010 is just a little bit too light, and then sometimes I feel like the 020 is just a little bit too deep. But the 020 in this formula, I think, is pretty good. Yeah, I think it actually works really well. So definitely buildable. I definitely see much less of my hyperpigmentation now that I've put down that second layer of foundation. Well, so far so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply to the rest of my face. All right, there it is all over my face. Wow, I am loving this so far. And it really isn't that, that matte. It definitely is like a radiant kind of matte. I'm actually really surprised how much I like it. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, so that is the Clay de Poe Radiant Cream to Powder Foundation with SPF 24, which is always a great bonus. Okay, next up we're gonna try the Sisley Eye Concealer, and I have it in the shade one, and I I just, I've always wanted to try this concealer, but I have, I have so much concealer, and you know, I always just pass on it, but I thought, why not? So it comes in a little tube, and it has this like metal tip, which is actually very cooling under the eyes, which is wonderful, and then you just squeeze and the product comes out there, and it also comes with a little brush. Isn't that cool? So as I understand it, this concealer is fairly high coverage. So I am just gonna squeeze out just the teensiest bit. So there it is. It's almost like one of those lip balms. <laughs> and I'm just going to, oop, that seems like a lot. Dab that amount on both of my eyes. Ooh, this cooling tip is so nice. And I'm gonna try this brush. This is definitely a lot skinnier and the bristles are a lot longer than what I'm used to for like the concealer area, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And this number one definitely has like, I'm sure you guys can tell like a peachy kind of tint to it. So I think not only does it conceal, but it does a little color correcting too, which is nice. Yeah, I think I put too much down. A Little bit goes a long way. The brush does a fine job. I just think it takes longer then, well, then a larger brush and also my finger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of dab around and make sure we're all blended in nicely. All right, let me uh, take a close look here. I've heard really great things about this concealer. I can see why. Really nice, like, high coverage, but it doesn't look thick at all. It looks actually fairly invisible. And that shade is definitely the right one. Ooh, lovely. I'm gonna take the brush and whatever leftover product I have on there and just bring it around my nose here. The foundation, by the way, around my nose looks really good. 
All right, well, so far two for two, which is great when you're trying new makeup. Uh, so let's move on to the powder. I'm so excited to try this powder. I think when I talked about how much I love the violet fragrance that is in the Guerlain Meteorite. So many of you told me, oh, have you, you know, have you tried this powder? I think they have not just this loose version, but they have a press version too. And so many of you were like, oh, you have to get it, you have to get it. And again, it's one of those things that always ends up in my cart and I always take it out. I don't know why. Oh, pretty. Wow. So here's the powder. It comes in this like golden orb. Sorry, you can see it's my ceiling fan and my lighting. Ooh, neat. I guess this, yeah, this screws off. And here is the inside. Oh, very chic black puff. And yes, we have a sticker to remove, my favorite. Ooh, messy, messy. Oh, yes. Smells like violet. Oh, that's so amazing. Wow, why did it take me so long to pick this up? Okay, I'm gonna start really slow and apply just a bit to my eye area. I don't know how mattifying this powder is. So I'm just gonna press. Oh yeah, seems like a little bit goes quite a long way. Okay. I also don't think I need that much because of the type of foundation I have down. This cream to powder foundation doesn't really need that much powdering. So I'm just going to apply a very light layer. Oh my God, I'm such a huffer. What's going on? I can't stop smelling this. Let me put the powder down. So this powder, well, I should say this foundation powder combination, I do feel like it mattified my skin like pretty quickly. I did not need a lot of powder. So this is pretty effective in terms of like mattifying and setting things down. So glad I finally picked up that powder. Oh, the scent, it just, it just makes me happy. All right, so in terms of bronzer, I did not purchase any new bronzer in this haul. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in two medium. I just want something fairly neutral, I think, if I remember correctly, this eyeshadow quad is fairly cool. I think there's like a blue and a purple in there. So I think like a neutral bronze like this one is going to work well. Next up, we've got blush. And I have talked about the Clay de Peau Cream Blush many, many times. And I only have one shade and they have four different shades. And I thought, why don't I have more shades of this? So um, I have shade number four, which is kind of a cool tone. I actually wonder if that one may be better for this look. But anyway, I got shade number two and I think this one could work too. I think it's just a little bit brighter, but it's not necessarily warm. Ooh, it's just like this beautiful pink. Oh, gorgeous. These Clay de Peau blush formulas, I mean, their reputation precedes them. I think the, the beauty of these blushes is their subtlety. They're, you know, they're pigmented, but not overly pigmented. There's a little bit of a sheen to them. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of a sheen to them, but there's absolutely no shimmer. There's no glitter or anything. And once you get them on the skin, it's, uh, it's always this like lit from within kind of glow. So you can definitely use your fingers. You can definitely use a brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush. I've got my Smashbox Cream Cheek brush here. I'm just going to, it fits perfectly right in here. And I'm just gonna swirl it around a little bit and then just start to stipple the product on do you see that? It's it's so gorgeous. And again, it's just this understated, like, is that makeup or is she really just flushed? Is she really just that healthy? <laughs> Look at that difference. Alive, not alive. Healthy, unhealthy. <laughs> and the formula of these blushes too, there's like no emollients to them. So you don't like really feel them on the cheek, yet they're creamy enough that they like blend out, as you can see, blend out like seamlessly. They're really magical. There really is something quite special about these cream blushes. And I can apply them over powder, obviously, under powder, over foundation, like whichever way you want. And they just always, always, work out beautifully. Mm. Since I didn't purchase a new highlighter in this haul and we're kind of in a clay de peau mood and I'm looking for like a subtle highlight, I thought I would use one of their Luminizing Face Enhancers. This is number 18 in orange pink. And it really is just a very, very subtle highlight. It's very creamy looking. It's not like super bright. And that's just what I'm in the mood for today. So I'm just gonna dust some lightly here. Can you guys see that? Just that really pretty, subtle radiance. 
and how like it just I don't know it just makes my skin look so creamy I love it All right, I'm just gonna quickly do my brows. I've got my Chantecaille Waterproof Brow Definer in the shade Light Taupe, and it's one of those slant tip brow pencils. It's on the waxier side, so it doesn't have a ton of pigment, so I feel like I can just graze it over my brow, and it just kind of like gently and softly adds in some pigment and fills in any gaps that I may have. It's just really, really easy to use. Moving on to eyeshadow, uh, this is the Eye Color Quad in number 321, Magnificent Plumage. And I am so excited to see what this packaging looks like. Clay de Poe does just, I mean, just such a beautiful job with their holiday or their special collection. They're so gorgeous. So this collection, I believe, is called Le Lac Enchanté. Huh. Oh, wow, it comes in this like box. Oh. <gasps> Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Oh, and then it has its microfiber case. And then on the back, there's like a feather. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Wow. Ooh. Okay, this is so much more beautiful in person than on the website and what I've seen. So there's that feather embossing, and then there's some golden glitters in there. I think what we see over the feather is overspray, but it looks like there's sparkles in all of these shades. That is out of this world. Okay, I actually have to take some pictures of this quad before I completely messed up whatever may be overspray. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you. So there are the four shades. They all are sparkly. I wasn't sure if the sparkles were overspray, but they're not. The sparkly bits are in all four of the shadows, but the gold that's on the feather, that is definitely overspray. So let me just show you now what this looks like now that I've dug my fingers in there. So you can see all that gold that was on the feather, that's all gone now. So I'm gonna go into this first, this lightest shade. Oh, it just looks like crystal, it's so pretty. And there's just the slightest hint in this shade of like a grayish purple undertone, like a lilac. Oh, it's really pretty. I'm gonna add this to the inner portion of my lid. Ooh. So this is quite sheer. I wonder if this is meant to be a topper. That would make sense. I think what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go into this light purple shade and I'm just gonna layer it on top. I kinda like this combo. It's giving me like ice princess vibes. Another very different look for me. I really, I don't wear like pastel -y purple colors ever. Okay, I'm gonna go into the deepest shade here and see if we can add a little, little bit of dimension. The shadows in this quad are definitely on the more subtle side. I'm just adding another layer of that purple and it's building up nicely. All right, there is my like ice purple princess <laughs> look. I couldn't find a spot for this blue. Maybe I'll just pop some in the inner corner there just to see what that looks like. Ooh, it's like just a hint of the blue in there when I put it on top of the purple and the white. It's very like watery looking. All right, a little, little bit of blue on the inner corners there. I hope you guys can see it. Fun! Again, not a look that I would normally do or colors that I would normally choose, but I really, I really like this. All right, so I'm just gonna pop on some eyeliner that I have since I didn't haul any new ones. I'm just gonna use my Chantecaille. This is the Luster Glide Silk Infused Eye Pencil in Violet Damask, and I just thought the violet and the purple would just be a really good match. So I'm gonna go ahead and tight line with this and work it a bit into my lash line here. And then I'm gonna throw the Chantecaille Brightening Eye Cajal in Nude into my waterline. And just to balance things out a little bit, I'm gonna run my brush between the two purple colors and drag that along my lower lash line. So I think that looks a little bit more balanced when I just add a little bit of that purple to the lower lash line. I'm going to curl my lashes and then we can try the Dior mascara. No. Okay, I'm just looking at the back of this box here. I think, well, let me open this up, hold on. Hold on, fancy packaging. There's this like Dior overlay, like metal overlay 
over the black. Okay, so this wand is slightly curved and I've always used it so it's curved this way. I figure that kind of follows the shape of my eye. I think what the picture back here is saying that you use it the other way. Have I been using it wrong this whole time? Curved wands? All right. I'm gonna follow the instructions. Since this mascara is called the Iconic Overcurl, I'm guessing that it's supposed to keep the curl in my lashes. So I have it so it's like a U. Okay, I, all right, I get it. <laughs> I get it now. It really gets the like ends of your lashes really, really easily. And I always have trouble getting mascara at the two ends and that that really helps. Wow. Am I the only idiot that's been doing it the other way? Will you please let me know down below in the comment section? Wait, let me look at this picture one more time. Yeah, I mean, it's subtle, but the bend is like that in the picture. All right, there is the mascara. I feel like this mascara has done more in terms of volume and lengthening than curl because I feel like my lashes are kind of starting to straighten out a little bit, but they do look longer. That's always nice. Well, I'll take it. I'll take volume and length. Okay, and last but not least, we are going to try the Clay de Peau Lip Glorifier in number 513, Break of Dawn. And again, this is part of the Lelac Enchanté collection. I know I'm butchering it, but there it is in writing. Let me take it out of the package. And these lip glorifiers are part of the Clay de Peau like regular line. They have like pink packaging, I believe. And so they came out with this color for, oh, oh, and this packaging for this collection. Look at this. It's like an ombre and there's like little glitters in there. Oh my God, isn't that so pretty? Oh, I love that. And then it has the clay de peau gold plaque at the top. This feels metal. And then it has the gold feather on the bullet case. And then there is... 513, so let me go ahead and swatch this. Oh yeah, it's like a, a tinted balm. Oof, I love a tinted balm. Ooh, that's pretty, it's like a raspberry. It has kind of a, a sweet taste. Yeah, it kind of tastes like, there's a little bit of floral, but like it kind of tastes like a popsicle, like a raspberry fruity popsicle. Oh my God. I am obsessed and I love how cool this color is, like cool in tone. And it is, it is cool too. <laughs> For those of you who have tried these Clay de Peau lip glorifiers that are part of the regular line in the pink packaging, will you please let me know if they kind of taste like popsicles? If so, I'm getting all of them because that is amazing and I told you guys in my latest vlog that I started eating paleo, so I haven't had anything remotely like a popsicle in weeks. So I'm, I'm gonna be reapplying this often. All right, well, there you have it. There is my, I'm gonna call it like a winter princess look. I like all of these cool tones that I have going on. The eyes and the lips, everything I tried so far is amazing. I am so impressed with this foundation. I am, I'm just, I'm really kicking myself that I didn't try this foundation sooner when all of you were like telling me, urging me to get it. I am loving it. This concealer is amazing. This powder, oh, it just makes me so happy. The lips, the eyeshadows, the mascara is really nice. Oh my gosh, I picked good. <laughs> I got some good stuff. This is amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please let me know if you have any questions or thoughts or comments uh, down below in the comment section. Definitely let me know if the other lip glorifiers have such a wonderful fruity dessert kind of taste. And a huge thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.